Hey, welcome back. This is Viquinox. I hope you guys are having a good day. And uh, where we left off, we were trying to get a level done. And I think we already trained up with him. Hello. And I've been looking at my my player page, and my goodness, look at that. Nice round number, 300. And I guess since we have two more levels, our maximum mana is going to be 350 for intelligence. But we can always use spells or armor and chants or something to boost it beyond that point. So 350 is pretty good for a Nord. And um, yeah, so looking at our skills, our conjuration is almost 100. So I've decided that this episode, I'm going to go take a run up to Bruma. But first, let's try to make some money, shall we? Let's get a few potions made here and there. And how much carry weight do we have? Oh yeah, we got plenty. So that's what we'll do. We'll brew a ton of potions, and we'll sell them. Because our money is kind Good of evening. getting what do you to want? a low point. Uh, Bitneld the Cursebringer. Apparently this is a, a hidden quest, but we should talk... Farewell. To someone Hello. else. We no, can get an easy quest completion if we talk to the right person. You don't want to talk to them out of order, though, or else it completely ruins it. I have to remember where she is. Is she the owner of this bookstore? Welcome to Renoir's Books. I'm the owner, Estelle Renoir. Look around. If you don't see what you want, please ask. Uh, some rumors. It's good to know we've got such a strong Fighters Guild presence here. Okay, no. Bye. I can't quite recall who it is. Maybe her house is still open to us? Yeah, it seems like everyone's gone to bed here. Unfortunate. Wait, could it be? Do they live back here? Okay. Well, we don't want to do that out of order, just in case. But yeah, that's a hidden quest. You can um, chat with her about the cursed guy, the the um, guard, the captain of the guard. And what happens is, is it's not like written in this game properly, but they end up becoming a, a couple. But we won't talk to her about Good that evening. yet. An honor to serve you. We'll hold off. I offer the finest. Okay, we'll leave it as is. We can just buy everything. I wouldn't make that. Oh, misclick. And we can make resist disease poison or potions, and then this one I don't really care about. I don't want to make that. All right, screw it. I'll buy everything. I say one thing, but it's worthwhile. A bargain. I like. That's a good. A bargain. And since now we don't get any more skill ups from actually Take making care. potions. You haven't seen my sons, have you? We can. Uh, you can make as money as we please. Tons and tons. Go ahead. You know what? Maybe I'll stay here just one more day, and then I'll go and do. The, the running to Bruma. Just to buy that spell. That spell oh, is super do. good. Go ahead, please. Can I interest you in some of my wares? You don't sell any three ninety nine, unfortunate. A fine That's you I, I I uh, some mutton. Your uh, that pleasure. Almost there. Always save the sweet cake, so just A in case if we need those feathers. I let that. Okay. Let's send it to the Mages Thank Guild. You. So, the best way. To get those uh, wines is to actually loot Mage's Guild you wine like cabinets. They tend to have some you ever spend time randomly spawned wines over time. So perhaps they got some again. It's worth a shot, seeing if they got anything. Let's go in their basement. 
plenty of food down here. No more respawns there, however. Okay. What's happening here? Alright, cheap wine. We don't care about that. I need to make a list of the poisons that make like the really good effects like the fire, the magicka drain, the health drain and like what combines into what just so I can actually like easily mix those potions but if I'm just going for money then it's a different story excuse me how do you do? have I spoken to you? Florius that's a cool name Oh, hey, calipers. I forgot, we were trying to collect all those. Oh, whoops. Okay, let's go back up. We're seeming slightly faster, Hello. I would have to say. And these respawn, don't they? They do. So we can always get money whenever we come to the Mages Guild all the time. Unfortunately, I don't see the alchemist down here doing what he's supposed to be doing. Maybe he'll return at some point? Let's investigate. There's Tikias. Greetings. Yeah, there's so much food, it's crazy. And in Bruma, there is a advanced trainer, I think? Yeah, so if we go up to Bruma, we should actually activate the the master level alchemist. Good day. Alright, he's currently off. Farewell. Did you knock over the food here? Okay, let's go upstairs and sleep. Um, 12 hours should do. And then his shop should be open. We're going to get rich real fast. I'm going to brew all the unnecessary stuff that I don't care about, that I just picked up over time, and then sell it, since the effects are super easy to make. And then, yeah, we'll get some cash up, because we're going to need it badly. And then send it. You finally leave. Death. And if we're lucky, I'm gonna do one more second look to see if I can actually get Good to see you. the um the Good couple to hang out with each other. Okay. So this is how easy it is to make ash. Just one ingredient. There it is. We're gonna get super over encumbered for sure. make sure we're in range of him just in case because ingredients weigh less than potions do so we may over encumber ourselves by just making these so what does this do yeah we don't care about that these are good for Restore Magicka, we'll keep them. You can also go further with them and make some really good shield and restore health potions with it. Frost damage is an interesting effect. These are good, cure disease, those are rare. Is this? Yeah, that's Restore Magicka and Feather, so we'll keep them. Is there a reason to keep this? Reflect spell is kind of a unique thing, so we may keep it for that. Ham. Uh, we'll keep the ham. 
And we'll keep that too, just because it heals. Uh, how about these? I can't think of anything useful for that. Restore fatigue, damage health. Perhaps we'll keep those. That's not useful. We can use up all these. Onion, classic. Okay. So we'll flip all these and then we'll send it to the um the, the woman, the matchmaker. I thought she was a book writer, so that's why I expected to see her at the the library or the bookstore. But fortunately that was not the case. We'll try to get one level again to this episode, like we usually do. And I think we can probably pick up a quest at the uh, the Bruma place once we get there. Feather, damage health. Okay, save those. Root pulp, cure disease, save that. Sweet cakes, we love those. Venison is restore health. We'll try and mix that with something else. All right, we're all good. Excuse me. Wait, did he say Can something? Can I interest you in something something of worthwhile my way? listening to? And I just skipped it. Okay. Damage luck. Have at it. Three hundred right off the bat. Two hundred. Alchemy just has no downsides to it, honestly. You've made a. Alright, that's a bit too much. How about 20? That. Okay, we can go like... 23? Once we get the master level stuff too, my goodness. I can't wait to see the price that tag on that. Okay, that should be enough stuff. That's All these miscellaneous ones we don't care about as well. Almost forgot. That's more than I'd usually pay. Okay, perfect. We're back up to 10,000. Farewell. Goodbye. And we didn't even loot the containers or the uh, apparatuses. We already got the skill ups too, so um, if we do the jumping method again, then we can get the extra five speed we need. And then, uh, yeah, casting is super easy. All you need is a way shrine. As for the quest, I'm gonna have to find one. I'm gonna have to go out of my way to actually get one started, because I mean. Kind of, sort of, we didn't do a quest last episode just because it takes a month to actually have her make the painting and it be cons considered done. But it's whatever. So for now, let's just consider that we did complete a quest last episode. And it's good to be back in the world again to like see all the scenery and just to uh, check things out. I hadn't played for this entire week, really. So, I enjoy playing this game a ton. Do we seem slightly faster? Like, our legs seem to be moving a bit faster. See the white gold tower? Now it's behind the tree. Okay, um, but yeah, so this, this spell is going to completely make our lives easier. And seeing as we only have 30 skill ups left in reality, then we're actually going to be able to use it sooner than later. And who knows, maybe we can go back to that Meridia quest and complete her mission. Let's see what this guy wants. This is a holdup. Hand it over or die. Okay, dude, have at it. Thanks. 
Until next time. <laughs> he hates us. That's the thing, though. Like, it's only a hundred bucks, you know? I'm starting to get to that point where it's not even money at this time. It's just like, do I want to kill him or do I want to just let him live? He's lucky. I'm having a good day. Chose not to choose violence. Killing him is definitely uh, a time waster. We're we're trying to book it, you know? We're trying to save time, if anything. So let's check our map also. Okay, we just have to run around some. Oh, I could have taken this orange road instead. I should have known. That probably would have saved some time. Alright, I'll keep that in mind for the future. Actually, you use the cartography a bit and see where to go. Come on, you can do it. Damn, that's such a nice view. Let's actually snag a screenshot of that. Okay. The undead. I hate them. There's so many spells where you can actually, like, make them run away from you or fear you. As for me, like, I usually don't use those types of spells. I find that it's easier to avoid them, run away usually, or or uh, att attack them, but avoid their attacks. Okay, let's continue running. It's good to have speed, though. We're going to push our limits, though. I'm not even, like, getting to the iceberg, you know? I'm just starting. This is an ice cube of our full potential right now. I do enjoy Skyrim. I played a playthrough of that. I've never, ever done the DLC. So maybe in the future, I'll do a playthrough of that. And I have Morrowind. I have all the DLC. I've only beaten the main story on that as well. So maybe I'll think about doing entire playthroughs of those. As for walking around in a no fast travel, uh, I kind of like it. It's just relaxing, you know, like it's calming. I don't feel like I'm always like running to the next objective and going super fast like into the action. It's actually good to like see the world that they handcrafted. Every piece of it, you know? See what you've been missing out on. Here's Ale as well, it's good to be back. First time we ran up here, we saw an invisible Argonian. Let's actually loot their, their stuff. Let's steal their vegetables. Now that everyone's totally visible again and I'm there proclaimed hero. Yep, there's that orc. No, oh, whoops. I do like the short sword a lot. I usually use daggers, though. But maybe I should keep this sword for a main weapon. Because, you know, if you do enchant a weapon, it's not really about its base damage anymore. It's just more about the enchant. No, no. I think I have an idea of how I want my end game character to look. We're still in the early stages. We're in the grinding stage of the game where all I care about is levels. Only thing. I just do quests just because every episode. If I really wanted to put my mind to the grindstone, then I'd actually like do just nothing but leveling because then we'd have all the the opportunities and all the strengths that we could ever want but it's not too important i like i like doing it this way to be honest all the sounds too when you're just running that you get to hear, it's great. Like, the difference when you're running on grass or when you're running through a bush. Or the difference when you're just running on the street. Also, I just saw my first Minotaur. That's crazy, dude. I'm not going to mess with him. 
they're at the level where if you capture their soul, you get a grand soul. Or greater. Maybe it's the, the lords that have the grand ones. But still, we're getting to that point where the enemies aren't, aren't uh, anything that we can mess with. I don't even think I could outrange him. Yeah, I don't think we could. We'd have to, like, be able to out-heal his damage if we were to stop and fight him. Also, I need to make a mental note of discovering more unmarked map locations. I need to check this out. How many locations have I found? We have found 57, so who knows? That could be enough to impress her. Because we want to do the Master Trainer stuff. Uh-oh. Run, run, run! Yeah, we'll leave her be. I'm gonna save up all my ingredients, save up all my poisons, use them for a real purpose. Use them for actual quest chains and stuff. I mean, in the future, I will stop and kill them, but for now, I don't feel like it. I just want to make progress. I want to run. Okay, going up. Elevation's definitely rising fast. I don't know if you're into running in real life, but I feel bad for my character. Jogging at an incline is the worst. His legs must be burning like battery acid. You know, it's kind of inspiring though. I love the quotes whenever you level up in this game. And I really like the... The... Uh, what is it? The way that they have the athletics motto. I find that to be kind of inspiring too. There's just something about it. Maybe... Maybe I'll try to get stronger, just like him. It's good to see a standard enemy again. A wolf, you know, a classic wolf. Something you see all the time in nature. Not some troll, not some minotaur, not some crazy mythical animal. Just a standard wolf. Okay, we're almost there. There it is, there's the chapel. Chapel Talos. There's a guard. He's our hero. This guy always mercs for us. Die, damn you. <laughs> Boom! Big hit! Wrecked. Left him in a pool of his own blood. Thanks, dude. Okay. Let's go buy that spell. Me children are starving. Please help. Okay, sure. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. It ain't easy living in these cold streets. Thank you, kind sir. Blessings of Juliana upon ye. Is that part of his radiant AI? He stands next to that big um, pyre. Stay warned. All right, we're going to go buy this spell right now. Uh, excuse me. There you are, Valandro. I was looking for you, my friend. How about mixing up some potions? You look like quite the alchemist. <laughs> you have no idea. I may be the second best alchemist in Cyrodiil. I hope I can help. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all... Okay, 75. What if we push it to 80? Heat Blast? Damn, that's a ton of damage, but also a ton of magicka. Here it is. We got it! That's the spell. An 80% for a novice. Maybe we could push it even Come back further. And always keep... Oh, sorry. You too. Okay. Now that that's done, do they have a wine cellar? They may just. 
I'm still looking for that that wine, dude. That 399. We won't stop till we get it. All right, it's definitely not in here. Let's get out of here. Okay. Now then, a quest. It's you. Hi. Where is this? Can I not train like that anymore? Okay, let's let's try to level up our jumping. It's not working as I expected. Yeah, it's slower. How about here? Yeah, whatever. Let's go talk to the alchemist. Is this his crib? Broch? I think it is. He should be home. Hello. Regnar. Arnora. Yeah, I think his house is locked right now. What time is it anyways? It's 2 p.m. Maybe he opens up at 4. Or maybe we just have to break into his house. Let's see what happens. All we need is him to tell us where this uh, master alchemist is. And then we're good. Alright, this is it, right? No, nope, that's Jay Gasta. Okay, here we go. I think you should leave. Brach Callus, Alchemist. Advanced training. Available by appointment. Yes, that's what I want to hear. Uh, I want to know more about alchemists. You're beyond what I can teach. You might think about consulting Sindarian. He knows more about alchemy than I do. Awesome. Head to Skingrad and visit the Westweald Inn. I believe he's currently employed there. In the wine cellar, in fact. Thank you, Brach. Much appreciated. Bye. Is this uh, a bit of wine? Do you have even more wine? It would seem not. He has ingredients, however. We should probably not be trespassing. Yeah, let's get out of there. Hello there. All right, let's go do a quest. Hello, I'm Jantus Brolus. I'm the illusion trainer. Oh, cool! Another trainer. What do you know about Bruma? Easterus and I used to be adventurers, but we've retired here. Rumor is far from civilization, but we're ready for a little peace and quiet. I like your face. You have a cool face. You hear about Gerunda? He was caught stealing gold, and now he's in jail. I bet Honora's beside herself with grief. Ah, uh, Gerunda. What do you know about Gerunda? Honora and Gerunda were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all of their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. He was going to skip town on Honora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all, poor thing. Aha, uh -huh. thanks for the information. Good day. Let's continue gathering some info. What do you want? Maybe we can learn a bit more about the quests here. Poor Honora. Seems her boyfriend, Jorunder, has stolen some gold from her and left her penniless. Now he's in jail and she's destitute. Okay. Have a Bruma. Nords who drink either get friendly or mean. I'm here to deal with a mean one. Okay. You too. Let's ask these guys. It's all over, lawbreaker. Oh, whoa! Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods you have. The next move is yours. Pay your fine, or I'll haul you away. What did I do? Oh yeah, I remember. I stole that freaking Legion guard's horse for a second. Damn it! That's too bad. I was hoping you'd resist arrest. Okay. okay. Here's the procedure. We go to the castle. First, we search you, confiscate any stolen goods. Then you pay your fine, and we release you. Well, two fifty is nothing to us, so I don't what? really care. Wilbur, you have a bed. Wait. Be seeing you. Wait a second. What do you want? Rumor. Anvil is all in an uproar. A bed? There's a wonderful room available. It's the best I have. And you can use it for the night for a mere 25 gold. Um, all right. I'm confused. Isn't this guy the BC. guy for the Count's Arms in Anvil? Why is he all the way out here? That's kind of odd. 
What is it, sir? You hear about Jorunder? He was caught stealing gold. Be seeing you. See, there's another quest I have in mind that I would much rather do than that quest. Excuse me. I've heard that Arentus Falvius at the chapel can conjure up creatures. You too. I don't know if it's currently activated right now, but I would much prefer to do that quest. Alright, let's ask one more person, and then I'm just gonna what? go for it. Poor Anora. Okay. It could not be started right now. I could be wrong. Hello there. What's going on? We may have to settle for that Arnora quest. Speaks it. Uh, goodbye. Take care. I believe the quest that I want to do is up the road here. How about you? I'm Regner. You want anything? Talk to Edla. She's in charge. I hate it here. Came here with Edla. All these snooty southerners. And damn guards won't let anyone have any fun. Okay. Bye. Uh, where is that house? Not that one. Gerald? I can't remember. Perhaps it's this one. Yeah, this is it. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynold Dralis, will be allowed access. Perfect. A Brotherhood Betrayed. This is the quest I was looking for. Can you tell me a bit about Reynold Dralis? A culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. I'd tell you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are, so I'm not sure that I can trust you with that sort of information. Yeah, you're right. I'm a no-name person. We'll see. But I can become friendly. If I had some fame, maybe he'd like us. Get away from... That's just talk. Get... Oh, please. Oh, please. You... Really, now? You're such a charm. Please. What? You're wasting your breath. Not... Good. That's not bad. Okay, maybe now you're willing to tell me what happened down here. I suppose there's no harm in telling you what happened. Word is bound to get around Bruma anyway. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. Or was. If it wasn't for Rainiel Dralis, we may never have uncovered the truth. But let me explain. In the last week or so, we've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Luckily for us, Raynal arrived in town. He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. He tracked the vampire to this house. When he entered the place around noon, Braden was sleeping. He was able to slay him at that point. Luckily, Braden's wife wasn't home. Poor thing. She didn't even know her husband was infected. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Braden out in the daylight. He's only been spotted at night. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you, so you can see we really don't need any help, but thanks for the offer. Maybe I should dig deeper. What can you tell me about Braden Lyrian? As far as I know, he was a good man. I, I never saw this coming. But vampires are masters of deception, so I guess it makes sense. Okay. Feel free to question anyone in town. They shouldn't give you too much trouble. I can't believe this is happening. Please. Please. I need your help. My husband was no vampire. It's ridiculous. No one will listen to me. Please, calm down. I want to help. Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly. And to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. This is all happening so fast. Tell me, what happened? I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open and my brain dead. Standing over him was a Dunmer. I screamed and ran out into the street. 
Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunmer identify himself as Rainil Draylus. He said he was a vampire hunter and that Braden was his mark. The guards seemed to know about Rainhill, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. The guards sent for Carius, who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Rainhill convinced Carius that Braden was a vampire. The evidence looks bad for Braden. Well, of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. And another thing. The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Braden out in the daylight. Well, of course that's the case. He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Why does that make him a vampire? It's all that Raynal character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Of course, he says he's never been here. Look, there isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. I'll find a way. I Excuse know I sound me. desperate. Alright, let's make this our quest. But, but I know I'm right. So, any new revelations in your... Mm, investigation? Uh, Brayden. I'm sure Erlene is very upset. She'll be safe, though. Rainil has confirmed with us that she isn't infected. Her accusations that Rainil is lying is not surprising. At this point, she's so upset that she'll say anything to deny what really happened. I suppose if I found out a loved one was something as horrid as a vampire, I'd find any excuse not to believe it either. Tell me more about this, Dunmer. I'll warn you about one thing. I understand you wanting to help Berlin by checking up on Raynal. We have it on good authority from officials in a neighboring city that Raynal is what he says he is. So I'm not sure what you're trying to prove. I am only allowing you to do this investigation, and I use that term very loosely, because Erlene is so distraught. Keep up the good work. Do you have any... I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. Okay, maybe this guard here knows know a I... bit. Sorry, I have a lot of work to... Okay, scratch that. Yeah, this guy is super dead. He doesn't look like a vampire, though. That's for sure. Search his corpse. Repeated tampering with Braden's corpse is a crime and will alert the authorities. Okay. Hello. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can't find anything about this Raynal dude. Maybe their stuff got what updated. What do you want? Raynal Dralis. Yes, the vampire hunter. As far as I know, he just showed up recently here in Bruma. Not only that, but he already found a vampire among us. Apparently... Braden Lyrian was one of those vile creatures, and Rainil slew him. Kinda strange, though. I never figured Braden to be a vampire. He seemed to be such an likable fellow. Okay. A new Good. update. Discovered that Braden Lyrian, a resident here in Bruma, was actually a vampire. He was slain by a vampire hunter who has appeared in town named Raynal Dralis. However, the circumstances of the incident sound sketchy at best. I should make my way to the crime scene at Brayden's house. Goodbye. Okay. So it's just an update of what I've already done. Maybe chat with some NPCs here. Um, how about you? What can I do for you today? What do you know about Raynal? I usually don't give out that kind of information, especially to people I don't know. Okay, perfect. That's All a good right. sign. You I doubt you <laughs> whatever you want. I usually Okay, we're going to use a spell on you. We have to. Good journey to you. What can I do for you today? 
Raynell's staying in the last room down the hall upstairs. Here's the key. Wow, right out the gate. I always gate. liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. Hey, awesome. Cool, dude. He's down the hall. What do we have here? I've entered Raynell's room. I should carefully search the place for anything suspicious. This is a very small room. Okay, that's normal. It says bed. Oh, hey, look at that. Gelborn's journal. I discovered a small journal in Raynell's room at the inn. It seems he was part of a group of adventurers who uncovered an artifact of some sort from some alien ruins. They all agreed to stash the artifact in a cave until more research could be done about it. Each of them took key to the chest it was secured in. The two other members of the group were Brayden and someone named Gelliborn. I need to find out more about Gelliborn to confirm my suspicions about Reyno. Olav may be able to help. Cool. Olav, you're Hello. a hero. What can I do for you today? Dude, I found a book. Do you know anything about a man named Gelliborn? Gelliborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. Raynal told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelborn down and killed him. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Raynal and his so-called accomplishment. Okay, perfect. Just look for me if you need anything else. Will do. Also, I need to find a place where I can train my jumping. That doesn't seem to work. This is it. This is perfect. Okay, I'm going to do this for a little bit. Get our five levels. Just mash the keyboard. So this is a really fun investigation. It's actually more fun, in my opinion, than the uh, Coral Castle one. Because there's a murder mystery involved instead of a painting. I don't know. That's just always classic in my opinion and Olav he's super useful even for an obvious uh, drunkard otherwise yeah all in all pretty good all right, there's number two we're gonna try and find a way shrine I know where tons of way shrines are on this map but I rarely spend time in the snow biome so I actually don't know where there is one here I think if we're lucky, there may be one outside the city somewhere. Don't know for sure. It's better to have 100% knowledge on something than uh, just go out assuming you're gonna get lucky. Okay, there's four. Mash even harder. I'm sure you can make a key binding for this. Okay, mash, mash, mash. I think we have like 33 acrobatics at this point. We're gonna go for maximum. Everything that helps with traveling, be it athletics. Was that all we needed? Let me check. Alright, so it was at... Yes, that's all we needed. It was at 28 last time I had checked. Whatever I can do. Okay, let's continue on this mission we've begun. We are getting some more ups, it would seem. Once you get 100 acrobatics, it's crazy how far you can go. Hello. Hey, it's you. Do you have any more questions? I'm afraid I know little more. I've learned quite a bit, actually. Do you happen to know a name, Gelliborn? Yes, I remember Brayden mentioning that name once. He was part of the Brotherhood he had created with Raynil. Impressive. A Brotherhood, you say? I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right. So, any new revelations in your... Mm, investigation? Yeah, I think that this name Gelliborn in this journal is tied in to Brayden's murder. I think Raynell is actually a shady character you should not just take for surface value. 
How do you know about that? Ah, oh, too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Raynal not too long ago. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. I disagree. What do you mean you disagree? That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? I have no proof with me. Then don't go around flinging accusation and hearsay. If you dare accuse someone of a crime, you must have the proof to back it up. Huh. Now, if you believe what you're saying is true, go get me the proof. Keep up the um, good work. Wait, I, I don't actually have solid proof? What the heck? So, don't I have the book? I'm sure I, I said What pro <sighs> How odd. Do you have any Yes, I remember Braden. I know. Am I missing a step? Is there something I completely glanced past? I need to find out more about Gelleborn. Olav may be able to help. A vampire, right? Isn't that what he had said? He was killed for being a vampire? Let's look at this book one more time. Where is it? Oh, I didn't pick up the book. What a foolish mistake. I think I just read it and left. You look like a bright one. Right? Did I pick it up? No. Okay. With this proof, we should be able to Whatever I can do. convince him. I can't believe I did that. Thoughtless of me. Okay. So Come after on. he reads the journal, he should be able to push us towards Reino, I'm sure. Hello. So... What proof? I have Gelleborn's journal. I... I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense now. Why else would Raynal have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skingrad? I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Raynal from Brayden's body before we arrived. To think that two innocent men were killed. And that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... I'm speechless. I will rouse the guard and begin a search for him in the city. Meet me at Olev's Tap and Tack in one hour. You got it. Good to see you. All right, so we're going to kick it here Not in the meantime. No. Isn't Sirok an excellent healer? He says one hour. We're going to do a night raid on this guy. Can't wait to dish out some justice on his face. Just before I arrived here, I received a report from one of our scouts watching the roads. Raynal was spotted heading west out of Bruma. The scout tried to follow, but lost him in the mountains. The only cave to the west that comes close to the one described in Gelleborn's journal is Boreal Stone Cave. That must be where he's headed. You must get there before he acquires whatever artifact is being kept there and makes his escape. You got it. I'm keeping the city guard in Bruma as Raynal doesn't know we're after him. If he sees a guard, he may panic and run. You're my only hope at the moment. Please, you have my authorization to do everything you can to bring him to justice. If he won't surrender, I think you know what to do. Hurry. I fear you have a day at the most to stop him. I'm on it. Please hurry. Raynal may make a break for the open road at I any Hello there. Something. Well, what is Excuse it? me. How does Olfen... Okay. What? Let's go find him.
Greetings to you. Greetings to you too, Hello. dude. Okay. So maybe we can find an actual way shrine too, so we can get our leveling done for this episode. Because I want to max out speed and I want to get completely overpowered sooner than later. And maybe after I get speed finished up, because speed really isn't a challenge to level at all. I mean, like, let's be honest. I just do trainer clicks and then I do mash the space bar a ton. But um, I want to do strength, I think, soon after. So I've been trying not to, like, get into long-lasting battles lately. I've been trying to avoid those. Mostly, I've just been doing the usual. Uh-oh, this person wants to kill me. Oh no, there's two. This is crazy, what the heck? Dude, I was not expecting that. What the heck, they're so close to the city. Is there a guard posted up here? Maybe I can lead him back. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, we'll just try to go around them. Try to discover a couple locations, too, while we're at it. Here we go. This could be promising. A Legion Guard. You can keep them off of our backs. Oh, awesome, a garden. All right, let's snag their stuff while we're here. We can easily clear the fences now, too. I remember in skin grad, we were trying to jump over those. We had no capability. Now we're doing good. Didn't we pass by two caves while we are running this way? I guess it was a lucky scouting thing that they found this but for roleplay reasons there was an actual uh, scout over there I will say I've arrived at Boreal Stone Cave okay it seems really uh, blue in here oh okay congratulations I had Look a feeling face. you would catch on sooner or later Leaving that journal behind was a stupid mistake on my part. I saw you enter Olav's Tap and Tack before I could get there, and I knew that I had to sneak out of rumor somehow. It was only a matter of time before you or Carius figured it out. No matter. After I've killed you, I won't need my vampire hunter ruse any longer. You will not surrender, then? Certainly not. I'm surprised Carriers didn't send the entire city watch up here. But then I would have seen that coming, I suppose. Yes, exactly. I expected to lay low for a while and then be on my way. So again, I underestimated you. This leaves me with little choice. Either I fight you now and have a chance at freedom, or I surrender and rot in a city dungeon. I prefer the chance for freedom. You know, to be honest with you, I do not disagree with that statement. This is your last chance, however. Yes, I suppose it is. Well then, we've talked enough. Only one of us will walk out of here alive this day. Good luck. Same to you. Whoa! He's got a big old sword! Die, damn you! Okay, he's doing a ton of damage. We're gonna need to heal, for sure. Get in there. Another poison. Take that! Scamp, drop him! Wrecked. I've located Ray Reno in Boreal Stone Cave. He refused to surrender, choosing instead to attack me. I was forced to kill him. To defend myself, I cannot recover the artifact mentioned in Galaborn's journal from the chest. Mithril armor coming through. Braden's key, Galborn's key, Raynal. This is a really nice sword. 
It weighs 40, though. I guess we could carry it. Alright, let's see what's in this chest. Opening the waterlogged chest with all three keys, I discovered the artifact to be an amulet. It seems fairly unremarkable, and I am sure of its function, or unsure. I think I should bring it back to Erlin, Lurian, and see what she wants me to do with it. Okay, perfect. Is there... No, no. Let's just make for the exit. Did you see that shock spell he threw out? Things made a crazy sound. Explode a wall. Luckily, I think our Actronaut kicked in and nothing bad came our way. So that's a mission accomplished. And we still have yet to achieve our actual level. So why don't we just cast a ton while we're running over there? Oh no, they actually wasted the guard. For some reason, they didn't actually pay attention to me. Do I have a Restore Magicka? I have one. You can use that. Dude, this mundane amulet better be something epic. Because I have yet to even have an equipable amulet yet, so it may be worth our time. do you bring? Raynil, Dralis, I slain him. I knew I'd recognize Raynil. I think when I first met Braden many, many years ago, he introduced me to him. They were part of some sort of brotherhood. They would roam Cyrodiil in search of legendary treasures and the like. The only reason he stopped doing that is because we got married and he wanted to settle down. I'm afraid, thanks to Raynil, that time is lost. I found this amulet with all the three keys. Long ago, I made a promise to Braden. I promised to never reveal to anyone what I'm about to reveal to you now. However, because you've avenged his unjust death, I feel that Braden would understand why I'm breaking that pact. Braden told me about this amulet when they first brought it home from whatever distant land it came from. He never really trusted anyone else in the group. And before he secured the treasure in that cave, he had a special enchantment placed upon it. The magic masks the true identity of the item. All it takes is a simple command word, and the amulet would be restored to its true state. Did the word die with Brayden? No. He always feared this day would come. He left me knowledge of that word in the event that he died, and I came into possession of the keys. If the other members of Braden's group were still alive, and I on my deathbed, only then would I pass the knowledge on to them. If you'd give me that amulet, I would like to show you what you've recovered. Certainly, here it is. Thank you. I will now speak the word. Brother. Here is the amulet back. It's as beautiful as it was the day I remember seeing it long ago. I want you to keep it, as I have no use for this anymore. I'm certain that's what I want, and I'm certain that's what Braden would want. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the amulet helps keep you safe on whatever roads you may travel. Awesomeness. Phylactery, yeah, phylactery of something. What a cool name of Lithness. Fortified Speed. Super good. Thank you. Justice has been done. We're even faster now. Can't well, go wrong uh, with that. And I think it's a unique, right? I don't think you've seen amulet like this much. Maybe silver amulet 
with a ruby. Otherwise, I can't think of one. All right, let's look at the map. So there's a western exit. If we exit out of that side, perhaps... Northgate... Oh, no, that's castle. Okay. Greetings. Okay, we need to go for our level right now. That's what we need to do. And that's what we will do. Good evening. Only if I could remember the exact locations of a way shrine. So, can't really recall up in these mountains where one is. It's not the end of the world, however. I think the right call is to run down to Lake Rumere. And we'll do our leveling there. It's been a while since we stopped into the Imperial City. Oh no, oh no. That is not what I like to see. That is the worst. A mountain lion all the way up here? Dude, unbelievable. Okay, if we can poison him, we should be able to survive. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna actually double up, screw it. You can't outrun these things, ever. Whoa, whoa! Stay away, stay away! Whoa! Get away from me! Ooh! Ow, ow, ow! He's dead! Holy shit! Pardon my French, but dude, that was intense! I hate those things with a passion. He almost killed me. You see that? One shot. Near death. Wait, what's this? Is this a way shrine? Oh, how fortunate. Thank goodness. Alright, so, I'll be honest, I didn't even know about this. At all. So that was a lucky find. Absolutely. I'm just gonna cast a ton then, do the usual spiel. Dude, those mountain lions, my goodness. Uh, yeah, once we get our level, we'll send it back to the Imperial City anyway. Actually, we could just go to Aleswell. Actually, if I remember... We'll go here. I think there is an inn right there. We'll stop in there. And then we'll get our level. Dude, level 80 in Conjuration once we get our plus 10. It's gonna be good. 20 more levels, we can use that Dramora Lord we just purchased. And now that is the best. He's gonna completely mop up anything in our path. I'm actually hyped for that. Those things are kind of loose cannons though, like sometimes they'll just blindly start attacking friendly NPCs. Like I've seen them start attacking um, patrol guards on the streets for no real reason other than they're just blinded in bloodlust. So hopefully that doesn't happen too much because they're kind of a bounty gathering thing and I think it's a big old chunk of change if you start murdering guards. I mean, as long as no one is aware, and no one's in the streets, and they see you kill them, then you should be good, right? Oh cool, it's starting to snow. That was random, I don't know why that's happening. I love the snow, looks good. My guy has a permanent upset face. He's still prepared for a fight. Maybe he's just mad that a brotherhood as deep as Reynolds got betrayed over greed. Nah, nah, he doesn't. He doesn't recognize that. He only knows of his heroic deeds that he's blessed everyone with. He has kind of like a commoner's face, I will say. Like, looking at his face... I wish there was a way you could re-customize his face, because in all honesty, I think I'd try to make him look like an alcoholic. That seems to be the Nord way, in my opinion. And you always have to keep the wrist irons. They're super unique. And they're weightless, too, so if you actually enchant them, they're pretty good to have for a while. And they're kind of what sets you apart from everyone else in the game.
As for the difficulty, it has skyrocketed. Ever since last episode where I got the wake-up call of the, uh, the undead and the necromancers, my goodness. But now, now seeing the minotaurs and the mountain lions roaming, it's getting real. It's getting crazy. And I do not know how I feel. But I do know one thing. Once I get the chance, I'm going to check in in the Imperial City and go to the Alchemists and see if they finally release their new updated journeyman level uh, apparatuses. Because then I can just freely use up all the poisons I currently made and then replace them with the powerful ones. Let's check out our current level on this. Okay, we got three more to go. These casting levels do take a bit, my apologies, but it's worth it in the end. Trust, trust. We only have one more level of intelligence grinding after this, and then the rest is just free levels from there on out. Pretty good. And then Mysticism, if I wanted to, I could just um, level up speed and then strength and then use those free levels from Mysticism to get the level up needed for the attributes to be permanently raised. It'd be pretty good. Fair trade-off, in my opinion. That's why you always play into your weaknesses. You know? If you're not good at something, then make it your strength, right? If you are naturally good at something, I guess the goal then is to try not to plateau, to try to stay always rising. We look pretty fresh with this new amulet on, by the way. We got all the, the stuff, but in the future, we'll be repping golden amulets, golden rings, we'll be looking fresh. Hands down, we'll be pimped out. We'll be so freaking fresh looking, dude. Alright, nearly done. The process. There it is. Okay, perfect. Let's go rest. Wow, we are really fast. Is it because Akatosh? Do we get boosted speed through Akatosh? No. It's just we're getting to that point with the amulet and our combined speed attribute. We're pretty quick now. We're also going to have to stop back into Coral at some point now that I think about it. But for now, it's not too important. Whoa! That was a bit of a drop. Okay, this is the proper way to take down. But I'm glad we found that way shrine. Just happened to be there. Ah, oh, you're still looking for us? You're not gonna catch us still, dude. You can try. There's no point. We already got this one, didn't we? This was the Thief Stone. Yeah, this was the Thief Stone. Okay, we don't care about that right now. What we care about is sleeping. There it is, this is the place we're after. Nighttime, all the crickets chirping. As for um, playing, we have killed some of the humanoids pretty quick. They used to be the toughest ones, but now it seems like the wildlife has surpassed them in every way. How do you do? I'm awesome. Please the nine. I don't know how to make this request any simpler, but to put it bluntly, Raylan the Greyfinder must die. Uh, you know, we'll talk to you about that in the next episode. What we need is a bed. 
There's a bed, of a sort. It ain't much, but it gets the job done. Ten gold a night if you're interested. You know, you probably shouldn't talk about your own inn like that. It's bad for business. It's upstairs, second door on the left. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, go on. Leave me then. I hear you. Wow, look at these Take people. Care. Good evening. They're enchanted Fine, armor. So He's almost at a hundred chameleon. Supplies. And being lost all the time. He and has an enchanted sword and, and mythical wisp. armor. He looks awesome. So heard. Heard any news you know, I feel super provinces? safe being Nothing here. Like you may have trouble <laughs> with some person, <laughs> but night. my goodness. You, you could hire one of these mercenaries to do your bidding. Yes. Everyone's saying there's well trouble met. in Kavad. Okay, What's this is problematic. The scuba Only trade a few is making survivors. a lot of money for the tribe. Really? There's an so enemy interfering with me? Alright, we're gonna have to go outside. Rugged... We're gonna have to put a stop to this. Where is it? What's trying to kill me? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's him. You there! Die, swine! Oh, ow! I'm just warming up. <laughs> this is not good. That's pain. Do your work. Alright, right. apply a poison. Take him down, guys. Teamwork makes a dream work. Our combined forces can end anyone. Him versus Bush. Who will win? Boom! That was a big hit! Dude, he just bops him on the nose and he gets wrecked. Good show. Um, we don't need any of that. Greetings. Hello there. Okay, now that that problem is solved, let's I go rest. Gaedra worship has become increasingly prevalent in the Somerset Isle. Dude, that was epic battle. The unarmed dude, of all people to join a fight as big as that one, he freaking was crazy. Today, you wake up full of energy and ideas, and you know, somehow, that overnight, everything has changed. What a difference a day can make. Okay, so, intelligence, one more level, that's madness. Level 60 speed, plus a free 7, and then our luck, we're super lucky. I'm glad about that. What's How going on with you? Does our walk speed increase, I too? Saw a mud crab a couple of days ago. I can't really tell. Well, man, do you animals. think what happened to Kvatch could happen here? Are it beasts? Yes. I well, our running speed isn't half bad, fight. that's for sure. Aggressive we can run to the other side of the room. Tear right through your armor, too. Speak while the sand I hear you. Warm. Have you heard any Pretty word cool. about the other provinces? Okay. Nothing I'd well, like to talk about. Well, in the next episode, hey, we'll help good. this woman. Someone good day. And we will actually try to get another Please, level boost. I know we kind of went out of the way when it comes to uh, training up in Coral. You. So Where maybe that? there's another athletics Western trainer Cyrodiil we can link up with. Colovia. But I had a ton of fun. And Coast, we and got um, a vampire hunter put <laughs> down. Heard and we got a pretty provinces? decent amulet Nothing out of it. I'd like to talk about. So maybe this is a beginning well. of new new ways of becoming stronger. All right, well, until next time, it's been awesome, and stay in keeping true to what you do. Until next time, goodbye.